This video is an introduction to an Excel application for doing delta log R. Delta log R is a petrophysical technique for identifying organic rich rocks using wireline logs. It can also calculate the total organic carbon. The technique was developed at Exxon and published by Passy et al. in 1990. This Excel workbook contains multiple worksheets. I'll go over these briefly. There is a README worksheet which tells you about delta log R explains how it works, some typical responses, uh, some cautions and suggestions, and down below there's also from a wiki page uh, that explains different techniques that have been used in the past for estimating total organic carbon from wireline logs. There's a control panel overview which talks about some of the things that you'll need to change that are in the worksheet. One of the things you'll need to know is the maturity of the source rock. The application uses LOM, Level of Organic Metamorphism, and you can kind of see here that the oil window is in about from 8 to 11. Um, this will tell you how it relates to vitronite reflectance and some of the other types of maturity indicators. And then uh, there is an example answer in here that I put in here, along with a log plot that I had for this one Wyoming well. And then finally is the delta log R calculator itself. Let's take a closer look at the delta log R calculator. There are basically three sections. There are directions up here in the upper left, the data that you'll have to copy and paste over here to the right, and below is the control panel. The area here, these yellow cells, is where you can copy and paste data below them. Never rearrange the order of these cells as the calculations, which are in the gray cells over here to the left or to the right, are dependent and looking at those cell addresses. The other thing, so these cells will be, these will all be calculated. And over to the far right here, here is an area where you can input measured sample total organic carbon measurements. The control panel is where you put in the different inputs in the yellow cells that will control the overlay process and calculation of the delta log R's. So there are two plots here. There's the resistivity porosity overlay, and then there's a gamma ray and the calculated TOC, and these little dots here are the sample data. The control panel has four different colored cells. The green, which is just a pull down and that's over here to the left. So if you click on it, you'll see that you get this little down arrow and here you can select sonic density or neutron, whichever porosity curve you'd like to use. Right now it's set at neutron. Yellow cells are data input. So you have your shift, your resistivity shift. And everything's labeled to the right of what these things are. These are going to be your baseline values. I'll show you how those are figured out uh, in a little bit. The LOM, uh, your gamma ray cutoff for netting, your sample rate. So when you look at your depth interval here, you can see that the sample rate is every half a foot. So I put in 0.5. Your total organic carbon cutoff for source rock, I've used 2% here. That's typical for an oil prone source. Uh, here, the calculated net source thickness. And then in here is the top and the base of the interval that you want to do your delta log R analysis in. And then the scales for your shifted log of resistivity and the log of your porosity curve. Notice here that here it says neutron, so it's using the neutron tool. If I cho chose that, change that to sonic, you'll notice that changes to sonic, and you have to rebaseline. So let's go back to the neutron. These are scaling macros, and I'll show you how these work later on. But basically, it lets you scale the graphs to the values here that you see over here to the left. And finally, these blue cells are the suggested default values. So if you come in here, I say default usually is a sonic. 
and put in these numbers as your defaults. And these are your default scaling values. With that said, let's try doing a delta log R. We're going to reuse this data set, but this time instead of the neutron, we're going to use the sonic. So let's take a quick look here at this neutron. It's it's baseline here, so you can move this brown line. If you select it, you can move it around and helps you to read your baseline values. So you can just read it off the, the resistivity off the left axis and the porosity off the right axis. And the gamma ray, you can move this one again to kind of figure out what you want to use for a, a cutoff of your gamma ray. And here we can see the calculated TOC and the measured data. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this little macro button here, which is going to reset all these values to their default values. So let's do that. So everything is now reset. Well, what we can see is that the first thing is that we're going to have to rescale the porosity curve so that we can get in a visual area where we can see this. And let's try to make it from, say, uh, 1 to 3. So if we come over here for our minimum, for our porosity, let's make that 1. And we'll make this 3. Select the graph, and then click this macro button here, which will rescale the resistivity porosity overlay. That looks a lot better. Now we can shift the resistivity to overlay, let's say, like in the area right in here. So it looks like we need to go about a half a unit. So let's take this, and we're going to move it down. So we'll go minus 0.5. Hit return. And that looks pretty good. That's not a bad. So let's come over here, and let's read this. So. It looks like it's maybe like zero, close to zero at least, for the resistivity. So we'll leave that. And it's around two for the porosity. So we'll put that in. And it looks like we're estimating it a little bit too low to match it. So let's just change the LOM. Let's make it eight. That'll help a little bit. And that looks pretty good. That's a pretty good fit. I'm impressed. All right, let's see now. What should we use for a gamma ray cutoff? Uh, this tends to be a lot of Marley rock, as we can see from this sample uh, log, lithology log here. So you can see there's a lot of carbonate and shale. There's some sand. So here's a sand in here. So I'm going to say maybe right in here might be a good place for this cutoff for this baseline for our gamma ray cutoff. So let's make it about 100. So we'll put this in as 100. All right. Now, let's take a look here at the sampling rate. This is important because it's going to basically control the thickness that you of your net source. So the sampling rate here is a half a foot. So if I put in half a foot, the uh, calculated net source is going to be cut in half, as you see right in here. So let's just make that 0.5. And now we have 170 feet of net source rock. Looking at these graphs, I, I really don't want to see this area here where we don't have any uh, log curves. So let's rescale this from, say, 3,400 to 6400 on the x-axis. So we'll put in here 3400, and here we'll put in 6400. All right. Now we're going to run the macro. You have to select the chart that you want to rescale. So the upper chart, we'll select it, click the button, and that's rescaled. And we need to do the lower chart as well to make it at the same depth range. It's already there, but let's just set the reset this here. I'll click on the button, 
and then that would be reset for the lower graph. And there's your solution for delta log r. We calculate that there is 170 feet of net source rock in this section that we're looking at. Now let's say we want to just calculate the amount of net source rock in the Niobrara. In this well, there are basically three source rock intervals. There's the Niobrara, the Maori, and the Skull Creek. So we just want to look at this Niobrara. So if we look at this brown line here, we can graphically move that there. So the top of the Niobrara is around 46, and the base is about 5,200 feet. So let's go up to the control panel inputs again. And let's change this from 4,600 to 5,200. And we'll recalculate the net source rock. And now we have 107 feet. So for the whole well, we had 170. And for the Niobrara, we have 107. So most of the source rock in this well is in the Niobrara. If we want to rescale the plots now to this new depth range, we just highlight the, this chart and click the macro button for the upper chart. And now you can just see that. And let's rescale the lower chart by clicking on the graph and clicking the macro button. And now that chart is rescaled as well. So this is basically how you do the delta log r evaluation in Excel. I hope you've enjoyed this video.